Hello, everybody. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your redo. Okay, I promised you I'd do a redo when I promise I keep my word, and so I shall, and I deliver. So, your reading started off with the Hierophant. Okay, yeah, we've got a spiritual leader here. Um, mm, very knowledgeable. You could be some sort of educator as well. Um, I feel... I feel like you're really sitting on your throne right now, okay? Um, yeah, and see, you're very smart. Very smart person. An alpha, a leader, okay? Um, you could be a psychic with this foresight card as well. I'm also seeing that you have foresight on the fact that you have your freedom from people, places, and things that were what, what, stifling you is the word I'm, I'm getting in my head, okay? Yeah, because you were able to adapt. I'm hearing roll with the punches, Scorpio. And there is a completion. Look at that. The sun is coming up. It is a new day, I heard, okay? Um, ten of swords reverse. I see that you're healing <clears throat> from heartbreak from a lot of pain and anguish that you've gone through, okay, that people have put you through, uh, could have suffered a loss as well. Um, you also could have Gemini in your chart, because I see Gemini Taurus, you could have both of those in here, okay. Yeah, healing from a lot of chaos, from a lot of tower moments, from a lot of storms that I feel people have really brought to you because of jealousy, okay. But is your time to be happy, okay? Ooh, pleasure. Then you got the Empress next, okay? So I feel that there is either an Emperor or an Empress that is coming or has come into your life. But I do see that you have multiple choices in love here, Scorpio, okay? Uh, I'm hearing choose wisely. I see that you might actually have your eye on one person in particular uh, more so than others that is very compassionate, very loving, of course, you know, the Empress, very maternal, um, just a all-around caring, loving person, okay? And you might have kind of had this notion that this person wasn't who they said they were, but I feel the, the illusions of that fading, okay? Your next card was the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel is turned in your favor. Um, you could have Leo in your chart because I always notice this lion um, on top. But yeah, uh, the wheel is in your favor. New cycles are coming for you. Good karma. Um, some swift changes for you, okay? And then the next card after that, Divine Feminine. So you could have a Divine Feminine coming into your life or you could be a Divine Feminine having a Divine Masculine come into your life. Um, you are looking to move to calmer waters, okay? I think I got this for Virgo too, so you could end up with a Virgo um, or someone with Virgo heavy aspect in their chart as well, Scorpio, okay? But you're looking to move to calmer waters and have this newfound passion with your Emperor or Empress, okay? Um, you eventually could end up moving into a home with this person. I'm seeing possibly marriage with the Hierophant card as well at some point in the future. This person is your Ace of Pentacles, okay? This person is your your dream come true. Uh, I see that you could have actually been manifesting this person. Whether you know it or not, I feel that they were manifesting you back as well, okay, Scorpio? Yeah, you've healed a lot of deep wounds. And you have had to go through a lot of disappointment in your life. But I feel that you're really coming out of a dark period at this time. Look at this crap. Divine Feminine is all over this read. <laughs> Bruh, but Abundance is coming in on top of Ace of Pentacles right after the Wheel of Fortune. Bro, you are going to be swimming in money, okay? Water sign. Haha, <laughs> funny, right? Anyways, yeah. So your next card was the Seven of Pentacles. You've worked for this. You have busted your ass for this. You have handled your shit. You planted those seeds. Um... You made sure you hoed, you made sure you like dug up the dirt, turned it over, put in the potting soil, like watered that shit twice a day, like you were on it, okay? 
and you did a lot of self-reflecting and contemplation of what you want, who you are, how you are, if you were on your path. Yeah, you've also been learning new things as well. Um, and I'm hearing getting a lot of downloads from uh, your angels, ancestors, gods, God, whoever you believe in, because I don't discriminate on my channel, okay? And because of all these secrets, all these lies, all this manipulation, um, this I'm hearing the sun will come out tomorrow, okay? Uh, so something might be happening for you tomorrow. Um, I am posting this on Monday, so Monday of this week. So um, just saying. Anyways, uh, you chose to be patient. You chose to trust the divine and sit back and let God work his magic, okay? So you are going to be reaping the lords of that Scorpio, okay? All right, what is the ending message for Scorpio and their love life? You got all the freaking good cards, Scorpio. So, I mean, shoot. Oh, my gosh. So this could be a twin flame union. See that 11, 11 right there? Oh, my gosh. So this could be a reconciliation of a past life soulmate is what I'm seeing, okay? This relationship, you... Oh my gosh, you're just going to feel like such a a home feeling, such a loving, warm, like, oh my gosh, I finally found my person. Okay, you could have Aries in your chart. You could, this could be an Aries that, um, that you are going to end up with, okay? But yeah, I see this being amazing. Um, you could end up having a family with this person as well. There's marriage, I called that one. Uh, dang double marriage. So you got twin flame, the 1111. You had the Empress, the Hierophant, which is married. And then you got the Four of Wands. And there's marriage on here. Oh, dude. This is like literally Scorpio. You are lucky. I'm jealous, okay? Because this is like the uh, Cinderella of my tarot readings right now. Spoiled, right? Okay. Oh, well, that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed your redo. Peace, love, and light, and have a good night, okay? Bye.